What's up, y'all? It's Project X here. I'm here to show y'all really my process when it comes to cooking up and just how how to make your drums hit a little bit harder. You know how we do that 808. If you guys haven't already, make sure y'all go get my new drum kit. I'm gonna leave a link below into in the description. Um, right now I got a loop loaded up from my actual drum kit. I put like 10 bonus loops in there for y'all. So I'm just really um cook up a little beat and shit. And then y'all could kind of just watch my process at the end, I kind of give y'all like a little bit of um, insight on what I do as far as the mixing and shit at the end when it comes to the drums and shit like that. So let's get straight into it. So y'all see how I just turned that 808 up and it just completely sounded distorted. So what I usually would do, usually right before I put my 808s in, I put a soft clipper and it just completely levels that, you know?
All right, so I'm gonna get into the mixing part. I hope y'all uh hope y'all are watching. Um, I mean everybody should be doing this. When you drag a melody in or like a loop in, you should be turning down some of the low frequencies. You know what I'm saying? So your 808s can hit. So um, when you got that, usually I like to go from my melody to my 808. You know what I'm saying? The real sauce when it comes to like trying to get your 808s to hit, like 808 Mafia or like Southside's 808s. Is putting that soft clipper on the master and just kind of turning up the 808 as you go with the soft clipper on it. And it just makes it, it gives it that distorted kind of sound, but it's like not peaking over zero, you know? Number two, bro, like this is the main, this is like the second main thing. Like once you fit, you do your 808 and shit, put the soft clipper, boom, your clap to make your clap cut through the fucking 808 and sound really crisp. I always turn some of the highs up on my clap like this. This clap is already kind of like a very snappy clap. You know what I'm saying? It's a very like crisp type of clap, but like. I mean, you could just tell the difference, bro. Just make it more crisp. You know what I'm saying? And it really helps cut through that 808. Especially if you got it with that distorted kind of sound. I like to use a lot of different open hats. I mean, hi hats in my beats. You know what I'm saying? I like to use a different, like right now I'm using three different hi hats. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just like try to level everything together and shit. I already got my 808 at the level I wanted to, my clap at the level I wanted to, my main melody at the level I wanted to. So every other sound besides that, you just kind of go by ear. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, once you got that going, you're pretty much already done. You know, you structure your beat, whatever it is, however you usually structure your beat. I'll do a whole nother video on that some other time. But, um, yeah, man, just a quick uh, gist of everything. Soft clipper on your master. Um, put a little EQ on your melody so you take some of the highs out. I mean, the lows. Um, turn the 808 up once you got the soft clipper on the master. Turn some of the highs up in the clack. And then just um kind of go from there by ear. You know what I'm saying? So you should be good like that, man. Just don't forget about, you know, just make sure that clap is hitting with the 808, bro. You got a lot of these people that's making beats that are super hard, but the clap is weak or something. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you don't got, because you might lose a lose out on a very big opportunity just off having a weak clap or like your beats might be distorting and like, it might be peaking and you don't got a soft clipper on it. And it's just when people try to load it up on Pro Tools and they're listening to the beat, it's like, all it sounds all distorted and shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't sound the same way as like it sounded when you had it in FL. So just keep that in mind, man. Um, make sure y'all subscribe, get the new drum kit, join my Discord. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Um, I'm going to get some more content for y'all. Just make sure y'all comment for me. Let me know what y'all want, what kind of content y'all want tutorials whatever i'm with it bro let's get this shit going so